Welcome to Lisa and Michael's Save the World. Five minutes or more. And tonight we are going to be chatting with Alisa Clark. Yay! I think I got that right. You got that right. <laughs> got that right. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to ask. I mean, you want me to artist, painter? Oh, right. How do you like to be introduced? Yeah. Huh. Artist, painter, sure. Getting into some sculpting too. So. All okay. over the board. <laughs> All right. So multimedia artists. artists. This is great. There you go. <laughs> so we are. We were just chatting about your work before you came into the room, and um, we we love your use of color. So we would love like to it. Know, love yes. it with a capital L. Yes. So we would like to know more about your influences. Yeah. So, I mean, my, my uh, biggest influence, I would say, would be my mom. She just, you know, for her time, she just, like, you know, she would decorate and she would just do the, like, most unexpected things with patterns and wallpaper and whatever, you know. She was quite a bit older than a lot of my friend's parents. I kind of came at the tail end before, you know. And so my mom's generation, you know, they... They didn't really, they didn't really get a chance to like go to college and, you know, explore their creative side and, you know, have a career, you know, it was just less, less likely to happen. And so she just kind of did it like as she was living her life. And I think it just had like a huge effect on me. Did she encourage your creativity? Yeah, like mad. Yeah. <laughs> And I always had like, I always had supplies and like good ones, you know, and, you know, and she wasn't always like, oh, that's just wonderful. Sometimes she'd be like, yeah, you know, that could be better if you did this. So she was really quite something. And weirdly, so she passed away a couple of years ago and I'm at the funeral um, with my, in my, sit with my friends, Joe and Kayla, and they like see some of my work on my phone and they're like, why are you showing? Why are you doing more? Why are you not making more? Why are you hiding out? And it was like, my mother died. And then they like ignited something. Like it happened at the same time. It was like so weird. I just get chills thinking about it. I'm real. I gotta tell you, I'm really surprised by this because to me, and I was saying it to Michael, you feel like such an incredibly seasoned artist as though, you know, you have you have a mastery when it comes to your aesthetic, but you also have a mastery when it comes to presenting your work. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been a learning curve. You know, like I was always making art, but I was like steeped in three children, you know, so I wasn't like, you know, out there going, I'm going to promote myself as an artist. I was like, I'm going to like pack a cheese stick. And juice <laughs> <a lot. laughs> so... Lisa, your work is gorgeous. Like, it's gorgeous to the point where I want to eat it. It's so delicious. <laughs> okay. Well, Lisa, I'm so glad you, you, you came out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Because, <laughs> I mean, the world needs to see more of your artwork. That's for sure. Well, and I just think, like, with COVID and everything, like, and the political arena and whatever, what I see on social media as far as like what other artists are doing is like so much healthier for me than some of the stuff that I could get like stuck in, mm -hmm. you know? So I think it does like for all of us sharing and doing this, it serves a purpose. It's like a healthy venue. I have another question for you. When I see your work, it to me, and I could be totally off on this, but you have a lot of nature, a huge nature influence. Is that something that you've always had or something that evolved? Um, I mean, I would say that's kind of always there. My dad was like a research scientist, so he was like a very much into like science and nature. And, you know, and we always had animals and, you know, like that, you know, and he would like take walks with us and stuff like that. So, I mean... I guess, and for me, like my spirituality is like connected to like nature and then like my self-expression more than, than it's defined by like an organization or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, definitely nature. It's like beauty is, you know, what around me is what makes me feel connected. 
Well, yeah. Michael, I, 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 I was already crazy about Elisa's work. Now hearing her talk and getting a backstory makes me somehow feel closer to her work than I did before. I love it. Thank and you. It, it's definitely, you're right. It's a nice, it's a nice diversion from everything that's going on in the world because it's so bright and colorful. Um, and sometimes the world doesn't seem very bright and colorful right now. So Yeah, right. I mean, I think it's important for us to make statements about what's important and what matters, but then we can't just be like all about, you know. You can't trying. be doing gloom. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like there's still beauty out there, right? And like you guys, you make people, you know, laugh and think about things because I was like watching some of the other artist interviews and, and you know, I see your your posts and everything. And um, it always makes me smile and laugh and think about what I'm going to make next, you know? And Lisa, like your work has transformed in like the last month. You know, I had, um, this has probably been a very, this has probably been, I would say maybe the worst year of my life. So the challenges that I have faced have made their way into my artwork. And I have challenged myself and, and I mean this in a good way. I have challenged myself brutally in the mm. art studio. And uh, I think the results are, are, are kind of like even surprising me. Yeah, I mean, you've like morphed. It was like you were making, 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 right? And then you're like push, push, push. And then all of a sudden like, bam, yeah. that's like really cool to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. really cool to see. Yeah, it's what we all, what you hope for as an artist, right? Is like that breakthrough moment. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of times the breakthrough comes with, you know, uh, tears. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now that I have brought the, the, the feeling down, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we have art like Elisa's. <laughs> now there needs to be truth in there too, right? Yeah. Definitely. Real and life. I will be putting your Instagram information and uh you have a website too yeah okay you yeah i'll be putting your instagram all your info scrolling on the bottom yes. of the screen so that people can go and follow you and check out your work yeah. awesome awesome definitely thank you so much elisa well thanks for having me